Hey there, YouTube. So, um, so I set up uh, a transformer with two outputs, uh, two secondaries, and I've given them their own um, smoothing capacitors, and they've both got their own little, um, very basic LM317 um, regulators. Now, this board, even though these negative positive rails go all the way through, I'm not actually connected to these, so they're independently powered. Um, the ground comes in here, and the output comes in here, but then actually go on to these dual rails, and these are two separate power supplies. Um, and the interesting thing about that is, in order for now, in order for me now, if I want a positive negative rail, all I have to do is connect. Uh, the well, I can connect this output. Basically, I can put that there and use this the positive output, put it there, and use this negative and connect it in here. So they're connected together. And what we'd have then is a, uh, a center point, like a zero point, a negative side for an output here. So you've got two independent outputs, and then if you hook the positive and negative together you've then got like a center tap on these two outputs which will give you a positive and negative rail and I'll show you if I put this on this is I'm just going to measure them both in separately at the minute I connect up there I connect up here zero volts and if I give some power here um, but as you can see a little set up with um, smoothing past this they've both got separate bridge rectifiers um, and then we just got a two ten, uh, 240 volt input here um, inrush filter uh, limiter sorry resistor so connect that side 1.21 volts that's pretty much turned all the way down and if I take that off there come over to this other side And again, we got the same voltage, pretty much the same voltage there. And if I just use this pot to turn it up, as you can see, oh, I got over the on there, all the way to 29.3 volts, with no load, of course, with no load. And that's going to be the same one there. Let me just disconnect that, and we'll slowly start to see that come down, but just while that's doing that I can put this onto this side and on there of course this is a 1.3 volts and we can go up on there as well it won't be as high now because the capacitors are discharging turn that back out again and of course the way we want to see it is like this. So if I take that out of there, uh, now I could have a little blue wire. And if I come off the negative in there, and I join that across here, I'm just going to take a, another wire out here. So now we've got. This will be a, a negative, and this will be the positive side. But first of all, let's just connect up. Hang on for a second. Let's just connect up on both sides. So we'll have our positive on there, and our negative on the negative side of this supply this time. Okay. So that's still in the 200 volt range. And if I put this down this time. And which side's all the way up? Okay, so this is with them both all the way down. So it's 2.6 volts, that's both 1.3 volts added together, of course. And if I turn this side up, which hopefully you can see that. And if I turn this side up as well, there you go. Now we got 56 volts there. 
and that 56 volts I did think about it I thought well you know will that have an effect because of these regulators but I put 317 HVs on these which means I've actually got um, <coughs> the input output differential on these it goes up to 60 volts so we're good now if I put this on here of that and get this one to here that's the positive that's the positive channel and if I come across with this over here and go to there we got the negative and the only reason that these are different is because um, I've just not set them both exactly the same so you can have a positive and negative uh, supply. I take that off there. If I put this on this side, I'm just curious now as to. That's just 15 volts. Because that's going to the positive side again, isn't it? There you go. Well, I wondered if it could be done. I, you know, I, I, I just wondered if um, I had two of these and I could put them together. And of course, you know, I suppose really thinking about it, if I had got two separately insulated power supplies, two batteries, let's say, we could do that. Two normal power supplies, you could do it. So there's nothing special and nothing new. You know, that's what I thought about it. I just wondered um, what the effects would be. But I tell you what, I did find out experimenting. I had. Um, had these uh, two N thirty fifty five some pass transistors, one on each channel, and I decided because I was using this load. Um, first of all, trying to see you know how much ripple it was, and using these and using this like with these one on each, uh, hardly anything. Pretty good. And then I tried putting this uh, bulb on this uh, sixty watt sixty watt car lamp. Um, well, all that happened was it lit up really brightly really quickly this transformer because it's got 3.3 amps per channel yeah per sec per um, winding but at 24 volts but when you put them together you don't get like six amps in series do you and basically what I did was because uh, this will draw like five and a half amps when it first kicks in if you put it straight on to like 13 volts and then it was settled down to about four and a half amps um, and all that happened was this made a lot of noise it wasn't happy at all it got very bright and pop and it just killed these off straight away killed them and the regulators themselves they're fine all that side say fine it was just uh, the bit in between it didn't really like it so yeah I thought it was quite a good experiment but now I've got to get it off my bench because I think I've figured out what's wrong with my Hudson H501 and I'm going to take it apart and find out. So, cheers for watching guys. Um, I know it's nothing new or anything like that. I'm not going to bring anything new to the world but I just thought that was quite good because then if you did have a transform with and you wanted to make a... Um, positive negative power supply and you had to transform with two outputs you could actually have two independent supplies and then when you wanted them hook them up so you've got that dual rail and when you don't you still can independently use two different supplies they're complete floating away from each other the only thing that connects them is the the flux malarkey going on in there see you soon bye